A Fox 16 News update. Major changes are on their way to Henderson State University this morning. The Arkansas State University system approved a plan that will eliminate 12 programs and 88 faculty positions. Nils Arang live in studio tonight to explain how things got to this point and why some officials believe it was the only option. Neil. Kevin Henderson State University merged with the Arkansas State University system in 2019 due to its urgent financial crisis. They say in 2015 the university had four months worth of cash on hand. By 2019, that had reduced to one week. Now that there's no more pandemic funding, hard decisions had to be made fast. Had we not stepped in in 2019, I believe that the university would have failed to survive. After a tough decision to take over Henderson State University's debt, the Arkansas State University System Board faced an even tougher decision Thursday. Do they transform how Henderson operates at the cost of 37% of its professors and most of its liberal arts programs? When this strategy was introduced to us, it was done with no consultation whatsoever. On Wednesday, the HSU Faculty Senate passed a vote of no confidence against Chancellor Charles Ambrose. Dr. Megan Hickerson was part of that vote and is one of the professors who will lose her job. We would have really embraced the opportunity to have tried to work out strategies to solve some of these problems that weren't quite this catastrophic. Chancellor Charles Ambrose stated, I really don't know what the alternative would be other than to present a model that was at risk of closure. Records show each program is bringing in less money than it costs. On top of that, Henderson State has some of the highest average operating costs in the state, but the worst graduation rate. The vote is unanimously approved by the board. The new plan focuses on what degrees are in the most demand for today's workforce. This plan is reflective of the creative thinking that is going to be needed as higher ed goes forward. The unanimous vote to cut these programs and jobs will save the university $5.5 million over the next two years. It also comes in the middle of finals, teacher appreciation week, and graduation tomorrow. Back to you, Don and Kevin.